Strong. Yes. Strong. Beautiful. Strong. Anyone who comes to the class, we're all just beat up by the end of it. But something that we all share, we have that smile on our face. Something that we all share when we're leaving that we feel great. We never walk out of that class or classes because there's two classes on that day. You never walk out of the class saying, I wish I didn't come. That never happens. I can guarantee you'll always walk out saying, I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad I came. I'm so glad I went through it. Now, during class, during the classes, because it, it's brutal, it's rough, it's difficult, you're just like, well, what am I doing? Well, when you leave, you feel great. And creating that habit, creating that intention, that look, I know it's going to be difficult. I know it's going to be hard, but I still went in the storm. That's creating that actionable habit. That's what keeps me going, keeps me pushing forward. I have to just create the habits that are in, are in line with my goal and my pursuit, which is just to constantly level up, level up in all areas. And that's why I share these things with you guys, because I want you to level up. And also, I'm around people who they inspire me because anyone and we're just using jujitsu. We're just using today's class, for example, because I just left. But when you come to the class 9 a.m. and you stay for the 10, but it's about three hours that you're in there and you're just going through it. That's such an inspiration to me to see other individuals chasing it, going for it, leveling up. Because I don't want to just be the one say, hey, I'm leveling up. I'm doing this. No, no, no. I want to see all you guys doing that. I love reading, you know, when someone might DM me, leave a comment. And it could be something just short as like, man, this workout or this video helped me get through this workout or it helped me through a tough time. You know, that's inspiration to me. Someone left a comment like, what inspires you? When I see people going for theirs, when I see people elevating, that's why I like to share what has worked for me. This is why I like to share, make these type of videos that hopefully, and I want you guys to take something out of it, take a jewel, take a gem out of it and implement it into your day to day. If you are just in a rut, if you're just trying to figure it out, well, okay, let's start creating some strategies. So instead of just figuring out, you have intention, you have a vision, you have a goal. And all of these things that I do from jujitsu, the workouts, it's not solely, hey, I do jujitsu because I want to know how to choke people out or I work out just to get swollen jack. No, when you look at it on a deeper level, it's creating habits that are in line with me pursuing a better version of myself in every aspect. I want to be undeniable in all aspects. And to do that, you have to put that mirror in front of yourself and have that self audit. And I have a self audit quite often. And I had to face, especially in the early years when I was just trying to figure it out. When I had that self audit, I would try to deny it. You know, I know I need to work on these things. How many of you guys, you know you need to work on this. You know you need to work on something. You know this is plaguing you. You know this is bringing you down. You know this area in your life is not conducive. You know this area in your life is holding you back. Or you know these actions that you're doing are not conducive to your goal. How many of you guys know it? Like, like I know I shouldn't be doing this, but you still go through it anyway. Because you're not creating a habit. You're not creating actual habits that are fulfilling enough. That's why I say set your goal higher. Set whatever it is that you were trying to become. Make it grand. Make it huge. Be, be extreme about it. I, we all know I'm an, I'm an extremist, guys. But I make the goal and make the person I want to become extreme. And I set the intent and know when I get to that level and get to that person that I'm trying to become, how great it's going to be and what I'm going to be able to do and the opportunities that I can provide for myself and those that I love. So the intent and it's so much more fulfilling that I won't falter because the instant gratification, the vices or anything like that. 
it doesn't outweigh me going through the hardship to get to that next level. Because I know getting to that next level is going to be far sweeter, it's far greater than that instant gratification, that vice, right? That's just a band-aid, but not a solution. It's not truly healing me. A lot of times, I would just run to the vices, just the instant gratification. And it got me absolutely nowhere. So when I started to put in place actionable habits, for example, jujitsu, because for me to get good at jujitsu, okay, my nutrition has to be even more on point. My mindset has to be more on point because you have to think it's a lot of, there's so many things going on that's happening within a six minute roll, eight minute roll, your, your brain is firing. So having a proper mindset, taking care of my body, getting in more shape, getting in better shape, because yes, I was jacked, but it's like, okay, I wasn't flexible. I wasn't working on mobility. I wasn't stretching. I wasn't working on my cardio, which I knew I should be. But once again, the intent to do it, it wasn't fulfilling enough for me to do it. Because why? When I got involved in jujitsu and realized, oh, if I want to stop from sucking <laughs> every time I come into this class, if I want to get better and not just get completely killed every time I come in here, I need to start working on these things. And then you start, once again, creating the habits. And now you start associating the hard stuff with fulfillment. So that's why now I can stay strict on a diet, stay consistent on whether I'm trying to lean out, put on size, because I know I can connect that with the fulfillment that I'm going to have, you know, later on, 16 weeks out, two months, whatever. So start connecting that hard work with more fulfillment. Okay. You guys know you want to get in shape. You want to be jacked, but whatever, whatever, you fill in the blank. You know, okay, the train's going to suck. <laughs> it's going to require time. It's going to require energy. It's going to require resilience. But now think about how good you're going to look, how good you're going to feel, what that feeling can do for you, what that feeling can give you. You got to see it, envision it, embody it. Like, how are you looking? Where are you? What are you wearing? How is that feeling? Who are you with? Who are you finally talking to that you want? You got to envision it. So this is how, for me, I'm able to just constantly, now it's hard work, of course. Like I said, I'm beat up. <laughs> I'm exhausted. You know, I'm exhausted just, you know, shooting this video, but it, it doesn't matter because it goes back to my last video. No one cares anyway. No one cares how tired I am, if I'm in a bad mood, a good mood, sad, this, and the third. If I want to be the best, if I want to be undeniable, if I want to be the best version of myself that I can be, all right, I got to do what I have to do. It, doesn't, it does not matter. Okay. Yeah, so what? Oh, yeah, I am exhausted. Okay, so what? You know what? Good. I'm blessed that I could say, man, Saturday... <laughs> I'm so exhausted from being in a room with a group of individuals who, who we are all trying to get better. You kind of flip it like that. It's like, man, like I'm, this is a blessing that I feel like this. It's a blessing that I can share with you guys. I'm happy that I can share with you guys because I know you can pull something from it if you implement it and you truly, truly, truly believe in you to do it and you believe you're worth getting to that level, you can utilize it and take it. And I want to hear about it. Let me know. Share it with me. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. Like, I want to know what you guys are up to. So I don't make this video too long, guys. I know. Let me get out of here. But I do these things. When I do these things, it's not just the topical reasoning. When people see the workouts and they're I'm constantly at the gym, it's just it's a habit that I'm creating because it's in it's keeping me in line with who I need to become, the person that I am, the person that I need to become, that I can be able to share it, the person that I need to become, the person who I need to constantly 
elevated, the person that, regardless of what's going on, is on time, the person that I need to become, yeah, can get up early, no problem, creating those habits that, regardless of what's going on, still keep him true to his word, still going to get the workout in. Because that means in any other situation, anything else that's going on, okay, I'll be there. I'm showing up. Whatever needs to get done, we'll get it done. No matter what else is currently going on behind the scenes, we have this task at hand. I'm going to show up. I'm willing to put in the work, and I want you guys to do the same. So we'll leave you with that. Let me get into this meal. More videos are on the way. I appreciate you guys. Let's go.